Jesus says something in this Sermon on the Mount that's kind of hard to understand. A lot of things Jesus say can be kind of hard to understand. He says, judge not that you be not judged. But then he says, for with the judgment you pronounce, you will be judged. And with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. With the measure you use, it will be measured to you. I've got some little spoons here, but they're a particular type of spoon. Anybody know what kind of spoons these are? Well, they're not really teaspoons, but that's a good guess. Actually, one is a teaspoon, half of a teaspoon. These are actually measuring spoons that we use for what? Yeah, making food when we cook, especially when we bake. Okay, so we want to make sure that we get just the right amount of things in that the uh, instructions tell us that the uh, that, so we know that if we need a half a teaspoon of salt, okay, we don't use this one because it says on here a tablespoon. All right, we want to use the half a teaspoon because what happens if we put in a tablespoon of salt? Yeah, it would not taste very good. It would taste too salty, especially if we do things like baking soda or baking powder, if we get that one wrong, you know. Uh, but I also brought some other measuring cups here, all right? So here's a half cup. This is a one cup, okay? So what if it says that we're supposed to put in a cup of sugar, and we see some white stuff up in the cupboard, and we just grab it and say, I'll just put in a cup of this, but it ends up being flour. That's going to taste good? Yeah, probably not going to taste very good, is it? But you know what Jesus was talking about is using the right measure. For how you measure it out to others, it will be measured back to you. And I think really what he was talking about was attitude. He's talking about how we act toward others. And sometimes, you know, if we give a tablespoon of grumpiness, I'm going to give you a tablespoon of grumpiness, okay? Yeah. What are you going to get back to me? You're going to grumpy back to me, aren't you? Right? If I give you a tablespoon of happiness, yeah, what are you going to get back to me? You're already doing that. Yeah, I can just tell by your face. You're already giving back happiness. And really what he was saying is if, you know, if we dish out to others cup of judgment. Ooh, that's a nasty word, isn't it? Yeah, you, even, you, you may not even understand totally what that word is, but you can tell that's not a good thing, is it? Yeah. We give out a cup of judgment. Well, you know what? That person's going to want to have their own cup. What do you want it to do to me? Yeah, give me judgment right back. It's kind of what Jesus is saying. So I brought a, a couple other things from our, our kit, church kitchen. You got one of those? I bet you don't have one of these. No. I'm just wondering, what are our ladies doing now? I'm just, that, that is huge. That is eight cups. You, say, you said liters, didn't you? Wow, you're so far ahead of me. That's just amazing. There's two, two liters, apparently, yeah. Eight cups. All right. So if we were to, like, fill this with grace, Fill this with love, or fill this with forgiveness. I bet I would have enough grace and love and forgiveness that I could pour it out and measure it out on everybody and have left over, right? I think that's a little bit of what Jesus is getting back. What we measure to others will be measured back to us. He divided up his marshmallows. It's bears dividing up marshmallows and giving them to other people. Is that what you said? Oh, all right. Got it right. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for coming up. 